Hi, Ed, how are you? I'm standing here with Senator James Sanders from Queens. We were just kind of sparring about the boroughs. I said I'm from Brooklyn, he says we're from Queens, but we've decided both boroughs are amazing. Senator Sanders, thank you so much for joining us. We are here under some very uh, tense circumstances. I don't have to tell you that. Talk to me a little bit about the leaks. Talk to me a little bit about the bias or the perceived bias that has forced uh, Wasserman Schultz to step down. Well, as a Bernie uh, Sanders delegate, uh, we especially have, we've always said that there were thumbprints on the scale of justice. We've always said that uh, it looked like we were fighting against several different people. You have all the proof that you need. Uh, you have all the proof that you need before. Now, you can't deny it. The real question becomes, what impact is this going to have on our attempt to develop some type of unity? And what impact will this have? Because we are expecting protests, we are expecting Sanders uh, followers to step up and, and make their voices heard. How does that affect the party going forward? Well, we've got our work cut out. Uh, as the Donald Trump gets a bump from his uh, convention, we have to make sure that that does not stay. And how does that, how do you go about doing that? Well, unity is the best way to do these things. A, uh, a quit denying all of these things. We need to straighten it out, stand up, uh, confess if we need to, and talk about ways of moving forward. But you can't move forward with that honesty. Really quickly, Kane Clinton ticket, is that the way to go? I would have preferred the Eliz I would have preferred Bernie. I, I would have preferred Elizabeth Warren. Uh, however, if that's the way we're going, then that's the way we're going. All right, Ed, it's all about party unity here at the Democratic National Convention. Senator Sanders, thank you so much for your candor and your perspective. Ed, I tell you, we're going to keep them coming. Back to you for now.